yes, it's your girl Petty Page back at it again with yet another video for you hoes. Today we're going to be talking about Raw Alignment, the formerly enthusiastic vegan who has now decided that they no longer want to be vegan. And they have caused a lot of backlash across social media within the vegan community. I'll be diving into why the vegan community in particular have an issue with Raw Alignment. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking to yourself, Petty Page, doesn't every single vegan YouTuber end up not being vegan at some point? I mean, look at Nicocado Avocado. Yes, that is true. Recently, we have had an influx of vegan YouTubers who have decided that they no longer want to be vegan and they're giving their reasons why. It's usually surrounding alleged health concerns. But there is one huge difference between Raw Alignment and a lot of the other vegan YouTubers who have decided to leave the vegan community at present. And and that one thing is money. Anyway, I'm going to be delving into this whole entire mess and deconstructing, decombobulating this all for you. So stay tuned after this intro. Most of these bitches is petty, petty, petty. Right, so Raw Alignment, who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? Well, she is a vegan YouTuber who has been doing YouTube for several years now. I mean, I'm not a vegan, but I have definitely come across her videos in the past. But for those of you who may not know who Raw Alignment is, I'm going to be breaking down who she is for you in... 60 seconds. Raw Alignment, AKA Elise Brautingham. I'm not saying that last name again. Was born on the 21st of March, 1994 and is 25 years old. And her birthplace is Connecticut, United States of America. She is an influencer who spreads awareness of the raw vegan lifestyle through her brand, Raw Alignment. She also preaches and teaches a lot about self love in her ebook, Love Yourself. Her YouTube channel is pretty big. She has got over 750,000 subscribers and her social media following on Instagram, whilst not so big, is still a whopping 220,000 Instagram followers. She attended Life University in Georgia with the Institute of Integrative Nutri... With the... In with the Institute of Integrative Nuti Nutrition. With the Institute of... In <laughs> with the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. Yay! She did that in a ways of becoming a qualified or certified nutritional coach. However, eventually she will drop out of university and move her entire life over to Hawaii. Okay, so Raw Alignment, AKA Elise, is a YouTuber who makes money primarily through promotions on her YouTube channel for her Raw Alignment brand, which is on www.rawalignment.com. She's allegedly a certified life coach. As we know, there's not many credentials involved in being a life coach. However, through the people on Guru Gossip, allegedly her certification is not regionally accredited through an online school, which is what I mentioned earlier in the 60 second rundown, the Institute of Integrative Nutrition, which I'll also point out is not a dietitian as a dietitian requires a bachelor's degree. However, a health coach is not, I repeat, not allowed to work in a clinical setting. So that kind of puts the levels of what this qualification actually means. So how this all started, this pretty much started by her promoting a certain type of lifestyle. For instance, she did a video which was what I eat in a day and her diet pretty much consisted of lettuce, juice, crackers and an avocado a day. As seen in this video, a full day of eating plant-based. Almond milk, cold brew coffee, cacao powder, hemp seeds, Oh, and protein powder. Garden of Life raw vanilla protein powder. So I know I just strained that green juice, but I'm already munching on some crackers. I'm not gonna have the green juice till later because I think I'm gonna save it for a photo that Carly is gonna take of me. So I'll have that, it's like a midday snack, but for a, for a while now, <laughs> I've been starting my day with 
like guacamole or just mashed avocado and crackers or rice cake. So I'm gonna continue on that pattern and make some mashed avocado with salt and pepper and some other stuff. I'll show you. Goodies over here, some salad, cucumber, chips, chips, crackers, waiting for some hummus to get here, and cauliflower in the oven to make my tea. Some chamomile, and it says, say what you mean, mean what you say. I already added some stevia, and I'm just gonna add some almond milk. section of this video a lot of people were alarmed at her diet and the lack of nutritional benefits that anything that she pretty much put in her body had to sustain her proficiently there's one comment by a person called Jessica Clark who left the comments six months ago that pretty much foreshadows what the drama consists of right now and she said this is not hate but seriously you think that amount of food is nutritious and energy condensed enough to sustain most people it's very restrictive basically lettuce couple of crackers and an avocado like hell yeah plant-based and vegan like i am too but this diet slash full day of eating indicates slash a definite disordered view of eating you would eat this extremely to manipulate your body shape and end up very sick please people be careful at least i don't hate on you but i'm starting to heavily question you you're becoming more driven by appearance perfection and disordered ways of being handing out dangerous advice slash examples of being the part that this person had pointed out about a disordered view of eating living and being is actually something that has been depicted on raw alignments website where she talks about her own personal story of a time where she felt like she overate and stuck her fingers down her throat then she goes on to state that a year later she started eating healthily and everything changed but to a lot of people People, it seems as if she's just replaced one eating disorder for another disordered way of eating. What makes Elise a lot more different to many of the other vegan YouTubers who have chosen to no longer live a vegan lifestyle is that Raw Alignment, because she was making so much money through her website, her ebook, and promoting a raw vegan plant-based diet, she also began to sell programs and retreats. She was selling a weightlifting guide for $40 and six day retreats for up to a whopping $4,800. And additionally on her website, it says that the main message is, we are all worthy of following a plant-based diet in abundance in every aspect of our lives. Another page on her website, she clearly states how she feels and her views where she states, there is nothing humane about the commoditization of living beings and how the dairy industry severs the relationship between mother cow and her young so as you can see her views and opinions on a vegan lifestyle are very very strong in comparison to many vegans so what made her change her mind so drastically on march 18th 2019 raw alignment aka elise decided to post a video on her channel basically saying that she is no longer vegan in this video she basically lists a bunch of symptoms that were caused by having a vegan lifestyle and that somehow eating fish and having a piscatarian diet has changed everything she even states it's brought her sex drive up i mean shit damn you better you better get those eggplants emojis bitch <laughs> Literally, this situation is almost, if not entirely mirrored by the Rovana situation that we heard of recently, where she made a video also stating that she was no longer vegan, where she was, instead of being upfront about her non-veganism, she was actually found out to be no longer vegan, where people saw her eating food that was not in the vegan diet. Henry llevo aquí más de un mes, pues no aquí. Yo soy local. Pero sí en en Asia, fue a Japón, fue yo no sé dónde, mejor dicho, que en vía de plan. Y pues buen provechito. She too had programs, mentorships, and earned a profit, money in the bank through her veganism. And that seems to be the exact same issue that everybody is having 
with raw alignment. It is in fact that she has spent her entire career on YouTube promoting a raw plant-based vegan diet and also promoting her extremely strong stance against eating meat and even going as far as to call anybody else who decides to eat meat as inhumane. Raw alignment states in her original video that she doesn't feel as if she has made her entire YouTube career about veganism and about the vegan lifestyle. If anything, it's about, you know, body positivity and love. And to that, I absolutely call bullshit. Literally from the beginnings of her YouTube channel, all she has really showcased is the vegan lifestyle. She has definitely had some lucrative financial benefits having a vegan lifestyle and promoting that same lifestyle and saying you can change your life too to everybody else. I mean, I'm pretty sure her influence is gotta be fucking strong if she's able to charge 4,800 US all American dollars for people to go on a six day retreat. <laughs> Lunchtime and everybody's getting their coconut wraps and potatoes. There's dinner time in the house. Everyone is loading up on their pad thai. Let me show you a close up. Like that's not being a vegan, that is being the queen of the vegans. Since this story broke, nothing much in terms of a resolution has happened. Pretty much everybody is so incredibly saddened by her decision. And it's not necessarily her decision to change from being a vegan to not being a vegan. I think a lot of people are let down that they bought into the lifestyle. They bought into what she was trying to shill them. I mean, most recently she held a retreat in Byron Bay, Australia from March 7th to 12th that several people bought and several people went to to learn from Elise, AKA Raw Alignment. And if you can remember earlier, I stated it was actually on the 18th of March that she decided to make her video stating that she was no longer vegan. So a lot of people were like, well, why did you host and hold that retreat if you weren't vegan anymore? You still let those people put their hard earned cash into your pockets and hosted a retreat, fueling them with ideologies of a vegan lifestyle that you weren't even necessarily following yourself fully at least. Through the comment section of that video, there was a lot of other people who were just mad because they're saying it's not the veganism that was your issue, it was your lack of nutrition within your diet that was the issue. If she just started using some more healthy proteins such as pulses, lentils, etc., she might have had a different outcome in terms of her health. So they're saying that basically her health is her own self-sabotage and not necessarily the raw vegan diet because there is a lot of people who do continue to have a raw vegan diet and have absolutely no health complications because of the dietary choice that they have made. Other people are just straight up mad because this is a person that constantly promoted that eating animal meat was mutilation, but now she has absolutely no problem with it. In this next comment that I'm about to show you, this woman has absolutely no time for the shenanigans. And I mean, why should she believe the rantings and teachings of a very hypocritical life coach? One thing I did want to note with this whole I am no longer a vegan video that she made, she almost uses the whole like I am eating humane meat as a get out of jail free card or something along that nature. Uh, but if you remember from previously, she already said that she doesn't eat humane meat because there's nothing humane about the commoditization of living beings. Those were her words. And like right now she's using it as a get out of jail free card. And I'm just like, no, it doesn't work like that, hun. No. Everything that I have been consuming is grass fed, wild caught, pasture raised, organic, and locally sourced when possible. So for anyone who kind of immediately thinks of factory farming and all of the terror and fucked up shit that happens in that realm, in that process, uh, so for anyone who immediately thinks of all that when they hear meat and fish and eggs, it's not the same thing. Uh, there are very different ways to raise animals and to consume animals. So I just want to share that. Anyway, that is about it with the raw alignment story. My thoughts on the whole entire situation, I kind of feel like, yeah, it is very disingenuous, but I do also believe, possibly because I am a meat eater myself, that whatever choices that she decides to make for her body is the choices that she decides to make for her body. I'm not going to sit there and tell her how she should be living her life. But now that her opinion and her stance has changed, it just kind of reflects badly because people are now looking back in time and thinking, well, didn't you think this? That was a very strong point of view. And you suddenly don't think that anymore? Hmm, interesting.
She has been profiting and continuing to profit from a lifestyle that she no longer necessarily is a part of. And if I was a subscriber who really bought into that stuff, then yeah, I would feel like a fool. I would feel like I was misled. Therefore, I do believe the uproar and the anger that the vegan community have towards raw alignment at this present moment is warranted because essentially you sold them a pipe dream, a pipe dream that doesn't necessarily exist. And if she had been upfront about her personal situation, her mind changing, etc., etc., within the vegan community from the very beginning, maybe the outcome wouldn't have been as so savage and ruthless as it has been for Raw Alignment up until now. But that's just my personal opinion. Tell me what it is that you guys think in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like it, if you don't, I don't give a shit anyway. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification with the bell so that you guys get a notification every single time that Petty Page posts new content. I personally understand why Raw Alignment is on the chopping block so to say. It's because she's not been upfront and honest with her subscribers and her following from the jump. And if she was feeling some kind of way about the nutritional or health benefits of what it is that she's been doing thus far, then maybe she should have been open with her audience about the way that she was feeling. Because maybe if she'd adopted some changes into her overall diet, like other people were suggesting, she might not have felt the need to go against literally everything that she has ever talked about in the past when it comes to harming animals and mutilation and all of that malarkey. But that is just my humble opinion. And don't forget to form your own because I'm just petty. Bye. Petty, 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 petty.